Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x and y if we have x plus y is equals to 2 and x y is also equals to 2 and we solve this problem for all the values of x and y. So here first we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 uh, and uh, here in order to find the values of x and y first we need to focus on equation number 1 and our equation number 1 is implies that here this is plus x and when we move this plus x to the right hand side it will become here minus x so we get our y is equals to 2 minus x so this is 2 minus x and uh, here uh, we uh, call this is our equation number 3 so uh, we substitute this value of equation number 3 into the equation number 2 so that our equation number 2 is implies that this is x and y uh, and we have x times y the value of y is 2 minus x is equals to 2 okay so further in the next step we need to multiply this x on both of these values and it will be written as 2x minus x times of x becomes here x square and this is equals to 2 so further in the next step uh, we need to move these two values to the right hand side and it will be written as this is minus x square when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes plus x square this is plus 2x when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes minus 2x and this is plus, uh, plus 2 already lies in the right hand side so we can write it as it is here and this whole equation is equals to 0 so now you see here this equation will become a quadratic equation in x variable and we know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method uh, second one is completing square and the third one is by using the quadratic formula but here we uh, use the quadratic formula to solve this uh, quadratic equation for this we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 2 and c is equals to plus 2 so these are the coefficients of given equation and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute these values of a b and c in this quadratic formula after substituting these values this will be written as this is minus times of minus 2 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 2 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 further in the next step we have this is minus times of minus becomes plus 2 and plus minus square root of this is minus 2 square minus 2 square becomes plus 4 and this is 4 times 2 becomes 8 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. Here we need to focus inside the square root sign it will becomes 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 8 becomes minus 4 and it is divided by 2 and in the next step uh, here uh, we uh, we just rewrite this equation as this is 2 plus minus here we know that square root of 4 is 2 and square root of minus 1 is iota and it is divided by 2 so here we need to break this fraction and when we break this fraction it will be written as 2 divided by 2 plus minus 2 iota and it is divided by 2 so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and finally we will get here the values of x is equals to 1 plus minus iota so these are the two complex values of x and now here for uh, these two complex values of x we need to find the values of y for this uh, we first break these values as here we write the positive value of x it is uh, x is equals to 1 plus iota and here we write the negative value of x and it is 1 minus iota okay so here uh, in the next step uh, we just uh, uh, copy down equation number 3 here the equation number 3 is y is equals to 2 minus x this is the over equation number 2 
and now we substitute the above two values of x uh, simultaneously into the equation number three so that uh, this equation is implies that when we put this value here it will becomes y is equals to 2 minus x the value of x in this case is 1 plus iota and in this case we put uh, this value of x here and it will becomes 2 minus x and the value of x in this case is 1 minus iota okay so here we need to simplify these two terms and we easily get the values of y from here we have this is 2 and we multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will becomes minus 1 minus iota and here we easily get the value of y is equals to 1 minus iota so this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is equals to 1 plus iota okay so this is the first solution set of the given equation and now from here we need to multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will becomes 2 minus 1 plus iota and we get our y is equals to 2 minus 1 becomes a 1 plus iota so this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is equals to 1 minus iota so this is the value of x and finally we have the solution set of the given question is that uh, in, in in the first case we get the solution set is the value of x is 1 plus iota and the value of y is 1 minus iota and in the second case uh, the second solution of the given equation is and the value of x is 1 minus iota and the value and the corresponding value of uh, y is 1 plus iota okay this is the comma between these two signs and uh, this is the our final answer here i can write just these in, uh, uh, into the neat form 1 minus iota and 1 plus iota okay so this is the, our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos